suggest that Texas ban dangerous prone and supine restraints and implement the long-standing federal recommendations to stop utilization of prone and supine restraints in schools. A new Texas bill would ban teachers and other school employees from restraining students on the ground, specifically those with special needs. It comes after parents and advocacy groups demanded changes at the Capitol this session. This is a story that we've been following for months now. KXAN investigator Kelly Wiley reports more bills affecting special needs classrooms could be coming. I wish my son had the ability to use his own voice to tell me what was happening to him but he simply couldn't, and this breaks my heart. With emotional parents sharing their stories, Texas lawmakers promised to pass new legislation, zeroing in on concerns from families with special needs students. Already, Representative Mary Gonzalez, a Democrat from El Paso, has filed a bill that would ban teachers, school employees, and contractors from using specific techniques in restraining students known as prone and supine restraint which involves staff taking a student to the ground, either facing down or up. Gonzalez said she authored the bill in part because of our investigation into a restraint last school year at a Round Rock ISD school for students with disabilities. The restraint is not classified as supine or prone, according to school records. You know, I'm a big advocate for public education and I'm, everyone knows that my youngest sister has Down syndrome and so I just think about how schools should exist or do exist for our most vulnerable kids to get the support that they need. And when I see this video, just um, gives me some red flags. And that's why we're doing this um, piece of legislation with Disability Rights Texas. In the U.S. Department of Education's Restraints and Seclusions resource document, it says prone restraints or other restraints that restrict breathing should never be used because they can cause serious injury or death. But there is no specific law in Texas banning the move. Tragically, those restraints are happening more and more violently to students with disabilities across Texas. And this isn't the only change that families and advocates are asking lawmakers for. Disability Rights Texas also released a list of things that they're requesting, such as better access to surveillance video in classrooms for parents, and also a change to the definition of abuse under the Family Code. You can find all our investigations into alleged unlawful restraint across Central Texas on KXAN.com under the Investigates tab. Kelly Wiley, KXAN Investigates. And we did reach out to Round Rock Independent School District, specifically asking about that incident shown in the video and its policy on prone and supine restraint. The district says its investigation into the incident has not been reopened and that its staff uses crisis prevention and intervention training that focuses on verbal de-escalation first. If restraint is needed, the most common technique would be the child control position, which is a short duration hold meant to cause no injury or pain. Meanwhile, the TEA investigation into the school administrator in that video is ongoing, according to his record with the state agency.